emojis in the chat, Pips. There are a lot of emojis. We gotta have some tears for our boy Boogie2988. Yeah, he's been he's been skirting on the radar lately because your boy duty's been busy with DSP and Wings. But he didn't forget about Boogie. And what I wanted to talk about today was his video that he posted. Oh, when was this? It was like a month ago, a month and a half ago. It was early December. Where uh, Sunny V, uh, Moist Critical, uh, Muda, a whole bunch of folks just railed on him for being a beggar, for being pathetic, and you know, you know, gave him the ride back. And of course, after that happened, he felt childish, and of course, had to do some self-reflection and some changes as we're here, we'll hear here in the video. So let's just play a quick clip. And then I want to talk about this a little bit more because I gave Boogie almost a month to see what he's going to, he, what he was going to do with his supposedly changing, um, the, changing the type of content creator is working, grinding, not talking about his money and focusing on working really hard to pump out a lot of content or good content and make some money. And I'm curious to know if he did that. So let's just play this little video just to remind everyone what happened back in early December. And I don't blame anybody else for hating it. Sonny, uh, as well as uh, Charlie and Muda and uh, all these other people, have all said, if I make better content, I have a chance. And... Uh, none of them have ever said that. They all called your content cringy and crappy and basically said you've become nothing but a begging locale, which is true. I think that means I'm definitely gonna have to stop doing the personal content. I know that's gonna be disappointing to a lot of you because I've trained you to really like that content and watch that content, and it doesn't mean I won't do it at all. You hear that? Train. He trained his viewers to like that content. Interesting choice of words, Buggy. It just means I'm going to do far less of it and instead, talk about interesting shit that doesn't come across as manipulation, doesn't come across as poor pity me. I don't want to talk about my money. I don't want to talk about my mental health. I want to keep that between me and my therapist. And I made this decision in therapy last night. And my therapist agrees this is probably the best path for me. Interesting how he came to this conclusion after Moist Critical and Muda and Sunny V posted videos basically calling him out. When of course the detractor sphere has been saying for years, Boogie, that your content is stale, you're a liar, you manipulate people, and it's boring, and that's the reason why your channel has just simply cratered. You're essentially what you're essentially DSP and Wings. And you've just haven't realized that yet. If it's disappointing to you guys, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll find a way to communicate with you about that stuff, even if it's membership, a second channel, something like that. Um, but as long as I'm still a bitter, cynical asshole, I want to keep that to myself and my therapist. But going back to Sonny's video, looking at the video, I realized how obsessed with my money I became after my divorce how bitter and angry I had become, how cynical, and how my content reflected that. And I've been working to change that for a while, but it shows me how desperately it needs to change. Because I always wanted to put positivity into the world and I've put a lot of negativity in it. And I don't want to be that person anymore. So I'm going to go do some worksheets and some journaling and try to get better. And I have a second therapy session this Friday, so I'm excited to do that. And I'm going to continue to work on getting better. And when it comes to what I'm going to upload to this channel, I'm not going to talk about my money anymore. I'm not going to talk about my financial shit. I'm not going to talk about my mental health shit. And if I do talk about any of that, I'm only going to speak about it positively. Because that's what you guys deserve. Hell, that's what I deserve. I, I want to be better. I want to do this job better. For those of you who've checked me back out after that video, I really appreciate you. For those of you um, who've left mean or negative comments, 
I appreciate that too because I, I know it comes from a place of some level of constructive criticism. For those of you who stuck by my side this whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we heard that video. So that was... When was that video? Let's take a look real quick. So, um... Let's see, let's see. That was a month ago. Okay. And then you guys remember he did this begging video where he essentially begged. And he essentially said, I need money. I'm broke. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Which, of course, is what prompted... Um the bash you know the 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 backlash from waste critical from sunny and all that and of course he removed those videos after he received so much negative uh comments on it the other thing too in that video which i have on my channel he talks about how um you know he 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 he's struggling financially because he's not putting in the work that's essentially what he said right he said i'm not putting off videos i'm not putting enough content and so on right and mind you, this was back in November when he did that big video, right? So what I wanted to do was I wanted to look at, all right, what has he done since that time? So if you go back into his archive of videos, right? Uh, let's just go back. Uh, let's go back two months. And I think it was around the Halloween time when, when this happened. All right, so it was somewhere around, uh, I want to say here, the end, right? So after his video where he posted his bag and all that stuff, I, you know, and he talked about how he was going to work harder, pump out more content, do some writing and scripts and so on, right? What does he pump out? He pumps out one, two, three, four, five. He pumps out five videos in one month. Five videos because it was initially at the beginning of the month where he did that bag video. And after that, he pumped out five videos. Five videos is nothing, especially the views that he gets. I mean, five videos for him, maybe, you know, 10 years ago, eight years ago was enough to sustain him, but not now, you know. And then after the Moist, Critical, and uh, Sunny V videos and all that that came out, which was in early December, right? What did uh, he do? He posted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten eleven and then he did a fundraiser 12 13 14 15. so he essentially pumped out 15 videos in a month which is slightly better i'll give him that 15 videos so he essentially did a video every other day which okay you know but for someone that really needs um money, ad revenue, and so on, you, you got to pump out way more than that, right? And then, you know, looking at more recent videos, this is what he's done. He's done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's done, I'm going to say he's done 10 videos in the last four weeks. So he's falling back into that pattern again, where he's not really pumping out much content at all um and then you know he uses these rambling uh whatchamacallits where he of course talks about how he's not going to talk about his mental health and all that stuff and his money and of course he talks about that in those videos uh so yeah i mean you know boogie talks out of one side of his mouth and then does something else so as you can see here in the hot during the holiday week right he did one video 13 days ago. He did another video 12 days ago. Um, and then he did another one 10 days ago. And then the last one was four days ago. So he hasn't pumped out anything at all for this new year. And, you know, when you're someone that you live mainly based on ad revenue, you have to pump out content. And he just refuses to put in the work. And then what ends up happening is he struggles financially and then he has to beg he's forced to beg because he's not making enough in ad revenue now what i wanted to show here was uh his video gains for um the last couple months and as you can see here you know uh he pulled in about 1.6 million views going all the way back to march and before that february he he 
I think he ended up deleting a lot of stuff and he actually went negative. But prior to that, you know, he was pulling about 1.1 million views. That's essentially what I pull in. That's, those are numbers I pull in. I make about a million one uh, a month. And he's pulling in the same numbers I'm pulling in and he has a channel of 4 million members. That's horrible. So as you can see here, he was pulling a little over a million, right? And then here in September, he dipped. Uh, he pumped no content out. And then here in October, this is when he started going on his begging streams, you know, talking about begging. And he saw a bump. And then more people started seeing him. And he actually, in November, he pulled in 2.2 million. That's the first time he's pulled 2.2 million, over 2 million in uh, more than, let's see, two, what was the last time he pulled two? January 2021, he pulled in 1.9 million. 1.94 million. That was the last time. January 2021. And then he managed to get 2 million. And a lot of that was from the drama that was going on, the drama from uh, Voice Critical and all that. And of course, people are going to go and see his content. Of course, he did the begging and all that stuff, which is going to just pump up and inflate his views. So yeah, he did good in November, but look here in December. December, when he talked about improving himself, doing better, pumping out more content, more quality content, right? So that he can get more ad revenue. What did he do? He pulled in 613,000 views. I mean, these are DSP numbers. And that's terrible. And I can tell you what he made in ad revenue for that 613,000 views. He pulled in maybe about 1,700 bucks in ad revenue for December. That's what he pulls in. 613,000 views will get you about roughly $1,500 to $1,700 in ad revenue. And yet he sits here and says he's broke, he needs money, and when people call him out, call, call him out on it, he makes videos and basically says, you're right, I'm wrong. He pulls down those beg videos, and then he claims he's going to do work harder. As you can see here in December, he did not work harder. He worked... It didn't work at all. Pulling 613,000 views on what, 10 videos I think he pulled, he, he made? It's terrible. It's utterly terrible. So the next time Boogie comes to you and begs and claims he needs help, point him to this website right here, Social Blade, for his views and show him, or actually let him do that, show him his YouTube channel and count how many videos he made and count the, the, the views that he got right here. 13 days ago, he made a video about 20 and 30, he only got 23,000 views. He did another one 12 days later, he got 11,000 views. Everything he's done in the last month has just, it's cratered. The only thing he made was maybe the con, not even 36,000 for that con, Kanye West video. The only thing he made really high numbers on was his response to the Sunny V video. And of course, that was more drama stuff that, you know, it's a, it's a one time thing. And, you know, after that, you notice he just went back to making the same, you know, very crappy low views. I mean, there should be no reason why someone with Boogie's following is pulling in 19, 20, 30,000 views a video. They should be getting minimum 100,000 views. And it just shows that people have tuned him out. Uh, and he's cried wolf way too many, you know, one too many times and people are just tired of it. And I don't think he's going to bounce back from this. I think uh, he's just going to continue doing what he's doing. He's going to probably get himself in trouble um, again, you know, and then he just runs into that cycle until eventually, you know, his health becomes a, a really big issue for him. And, you know, that might be the end for our boy Woogie. So anyway, I just wanted to call him out on that because I, I've been noticing, you know, and I haven't been paying much attention to him because he really hasn't been pumping out that kind of content. Uh, but I wanted to look back and see where he was ever since Sunny V called him out and Moist Critical called him out. And as you can see, he hasn't learned his lesson. He's still doing the same stupid things he's doing and he's never going to change. Anyway, round emojis for our boy Boogie. Peace out.